Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Today I'm going to walk you through the steps of me applying a 2K urethane spray-in bed liner into my 2021 GMC Canyon, like you can see behind me. Today I'm going to be using Raptor Liner. Um, I am working on developing my own spray-in 2K urethane bed liner material. Uh, but I have been applying the Raptor liner and as long as your prep is solid, the product works flawlessly. Uh, so I'm going to put the Raptor liner black in my bed today. So first thing we've got to prep the surface. And like I said, uh, the key to any, uh, bed liner spray in job or even roll in for that matter is the prep. Um, I do offer this as a service. Uh, I have done about 12 of them so far um, since I started offering the service. I have done this uh, process to many parts over the years. Um, I've used pretty much all of the do-it-yourself brands, and I've found that uh, Raptor Liner is definitely one of the best options uh, that you can have to get your bed liner straight. I have done a few full car sprays i actually really dig doing it uh so i am also offering full car sprays so we could do the exterior of your vehicle uh we also uh can tint it to whatever color that you want uh so if you don't want white or black uh you know black would be the standard i can tint it to be whatever other whatever color you want uh for the exterior or for your bed liner uh in the bed uh, the other cool part of this deal is um, I'm also coating um, boat parts. So it is a marine product, uh, marine grade product. Uh, Raptor liner is actually used in uh, to, to line pools at uh, resorts here in uh, Orlando. So that's a pretty cool deal. So it's a marine grade product. We're going to put it in the bed. We do spray it on the exteriors like I mentioned. I'm not gonna do my truck. Uh, mainly because it's a brand new truck, but uh, cool part about the exterior, everybody complains, oh, it's gonna be too heavy, yada, yada, yada. It takes about a gallon uh, and a half to two gallons to do a whole car. So you're adding maybe 30 to 40 extra pounds to the car and that's it. So it's not a huge deal. Uh, it does not take away from any aerodynamics or any of that stuff. And it looks pretty cool and it's very durable. So anyway, we do uh, bed liners, uh, much less expensive than going to the big boys. Uh, I'm sure that you are familiar with Linex, uh, Lizard Skin. Uh, there's a, a few other uh, big name, uh, name Rhino Lining. Uh, there's, there's a few bigger names out there, but I can, I can tell you from experience, uh, for the average Joe who's not dropping big rocks in the bed, Raptor liner is more than sufficient to protect the bed uh, for the life of the vehicle. And uh, I I've never had any issues with it, cracking, peeling. Uh, like I said, prep is all the rage. That's, that's, that's the most important part of this deal. Even more important than the product choice is the prep. And so what I, go, what I do is I get in there and I sand everything with 120 grit, uh, get all the gloss gone. I then will wipe down with acetone. Uh, and then I uh, get everything taped up and masked so that there's no overspray or whatever. When you're doing this, there's not a ton of overspray, but definitely enough uh, to have to worry about it. So um, as far as that goes, you tape everything up, the cab, the wheels, everything, and then literally we'll just get to spraying. So uh, not a real complicated situation, but you are going to spend a couple of hours in here sanding. You got to get all the nooks and crannies all up underneath the rails. You want to use uh, Raptor makes a uh, adhesion promoter, which I'll show you. I keep that stuff around. Um, that's some white bed liner. This is the 1K stuff. Uh, I hit everything with this adhesion promoter uh, prior to actually um, applying Raptor liner. But beyond that, what I also use if there are any uh, bare metal spots is the U-Pole, that's the parent company to Raptor, uh, the number eight uh, 
acid etch primer. So cover up any metal with exposed metal with that. So just be careful when you're sanding to not sand through the paint and you won't have to use any of this. However, if you got an older bed that's all beat up, you definitely want to cover the metal with this uh, before you apply the Raptor liner. And then on questionable areas, like I've got some uh, plastic plugs in the bed, uh, you're gonna use this over that so that you can ensure that you're gonna get proper adhesion. And again, prep is key. I got all these plugs in here. Um, I do know for a fact that uh, GM does make these caps with a different um, clip system that's a little thicker for when they do their factory bed liners um, and I did not go purchase them. So I am absolutely going to spray right over them. I don't see any need to worry about it. Uh, I'm not ever going to take those plugs out. Um, there's just no need to, to take them out or even go buy the other ones because I'm just going to spray over, over them. I am going to take these screws out um, I'll probably uh, tape the back of it and just sit it back on here when I spray the tailgate uh, because I want this covered. I just want to be able to pull the screws if I needed to get inside the tailgate for the mechanism or whatever. I don't want to basically glue it down. So just a few things to think about, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, get started with the prep, which again, uh, the prep is uh, sand it all out, acetone it, and then... Uh, get to spraying. Uh, so if you need this service done, give me a call. I absolutely am less expensive than the big boys and uh, I can do it in your driveway, believe it or not. With no overspray issues, I can straighten it all out for you. Uh, I'm actually going to do mine right here um, and you're going to see how this turns out. But I'm real excited for uh, the marine parts. Uh, I can coat skis, the underside of uh, skis, the hull bottoms. Um, we can do that mobile. I have an engine hoist and some nice um, straps to lift the ski off the trailer so that I can access the whole bottom. Uh, and so if you're looking at maybe making your ski more durable, uh, you're not going to lose any speed. You're not going to lose any aerodynamics. Uh, and we can vary the amount of texture you get just by uh, varying how far we spray away from the surface as well as the pressure uh, coming out of the compressor. So Anyway, there's lots of ways to do it. Um, I've been doing boat decks and all kinds of other cool stuff. And I'm really excited to get this, uh, you know, this uh, angle of my business rolling. And uh, I just really enjoy doing these kinds of things. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing sanded up, cleaned out and sanded up. And then uh, we'll bring you back whenever I've got some work done. All right. I got the whole inside of the bed and the tailgate. Uh, sanded with 120 grit. Uh, Raptor says uh, 80 to 120. I use 120 grit blocks. I usually get one block out of a, a job. So 120 grit block, sanded everything. You can see all the dust everywhere. So I'm going to hose it down, get all that trash out of the nooks and crannies right up there by the cab, and then uh, basically just let it dry here in the sun for a few minutes and then uh, I'm going to take some acetone, wipe it all down. So uh, I will bring you back when I have more done. I did take all the screws out of this plate so that I could sand the edges here. Uh, I am going to go ahead and spray it just like this. I'm going to pull these two screws out. I actually, I moved it out of the way so I could get the edges real good. Uh, but I am going to remove these two screws after I hose it down because I just don't want a ton of water getting into the tailgate. Um, so that's where we're at. It's all sanded. That took me 30 minutes to sand all of that. So we'll be back. All right. So <clears throat> at this stage, I basically hosed it down. I took a hose and sprayed it all down. Uh, I got all the debris and stuff from the crack un up there. Cause you don't want to seal all that stuff in. You want to try to get it out. So I took a hose in there and I just blew it out. Pressure washer would have been a little bit better, but I've got decent pressure out of my home hose. All right. So at this point, what you're going to want to do is you're going to look around and see if you see any glossy spots because the gloss is what's going to help it. Well, we're going to prevent it from sticking. So you go around and 
you look around and even though it's a little glossy i can see the sanding marks in there and that's what you want um, i'm gonna go back in there and just get a few areas like they've got a little dent right there i want to get inside there there's a dent right there i want to get inside there and just walk around and make sure you've got everything sanded because that key from the sanding is going to uh, give you a better end result. So uh, all the prep is the key. So the better you sand, the better you mask, the better you um, wipe down with acetone to remove any uh, residual debris, <clears throat> the better your outcome is going to be. The product is only as good as the prep, and that is serious when it comes to spraying in bed liner and that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to get back in, touch up any areas that I may have missed. I see a little bit of shininess there and a couple other spots, so I'm going to go touch that up, and then I'm going to get in here with the acetone and wipe it all down. So we'll be right back. All right, it is that time, time to start spraying. So I've got the whole truck masked up. Spent a little extra time making sure it was good. Got all my screws out of this plate back here. I used the adhes adhesion promoter on all the corners and the seams and over all the plastic bits. Got everything covered pretty much. So everything's good to go, ready to spray. I got my uh, California Air Tools compressor and we're gonna we're gonna spray some Raptor today All right. Well, I'll bring you back once I've got more done again. This is not necessarily a how-to video. It's more of a uh, What are the steps I take video? so uh, I Might do if you guys are interested in a full-blown how-to I might do that. I don't know um, But I'm gonna mix up Two cans at a time I'm going to do the first two in here and then you wait an hour and then we'll do the second two. So I'll show you what's going on after I shoot the first coat. All right, guys. That's uh, full two bottles, which I believe to be very even coverage. However, um, I'm going to use one more bottle. I've got, I mean, this thing's covered and it looks awesome. So I'm going to wait the hour that they recommend and then I'm going to hit it with uh, one more can just to add some texture. Um, maybe there's a light spot there. Anyway, looks awesome. I'm super happy with how it's turning out and, uh, we're going to give it an hour and, uh, hit it with one more can and, uh, call it a day. So we'll be back. All right, boys and girls, it's all done. This bed liner is complete. Uh, this is absolutely my personal truck. So, um, you can bet your ass if I'm using it on mine, it's good enough for yours. So that's where we're at. All right, it's all done. I got to pull the tape and get all the masking off and then I'll bring you back to see the finished product and we'll close this video out. All right guys, the grand finale. It's all done. Tape's all off. Looks pretty awesome. The only thing I have left to do is put the screws back in there. Even coverage all over, even underneath the bed rails there. Like I mentioned, I used adhesion promoter, the Raptor stuff, uh, on all the caps, all the plastic pieces. I don't plan on ever taking them off, so I don't really care. But because the camera is underneath here, and so is the mechanism for the door latch... Um, I wanted to make sure I didn't basically glue those, uh, screw holes or screws in, but I got tape all up underneath there and it looks great. Um, I'm, I, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Worked very hard on it. I did this top rail as well.
that's it guys so thank you guys so much for watching these videos i appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble um i know sometimes it's boring or redundant or whatever uh but it is what it is unfortunately this is how i do it and um i got that truck knocked out that is my personal truck um i've been waiting to shoot the video on this process uh for me to do my personal truck so i had more time uh and i wasn't in a neighborhood or whatever uh where you know somebody would look at me funny because i've been shooting a video but um i'm very happy with how it turns out i generally am um i really um it's not for the faint of heart it is not real complicated but there's a lot of parts to the puzzle and I, like i mentioned already um the prep is the key so i spend extra time on prep because product is second to the prep i promise you so it's all about uh prepping properly uh and then putting on an even coat uh and um that's it prep and coat uh this whole truck took me around four and a half hours uh generally that's about the time it takes uh the most time is in the prep sanding and uh taping and masking and doing all that stuff uh, you can you can absolutely do it yourself if you want to, or you can hire me to do it. Uh, I will save you plenty of money over the big guys, and I can come to your home or office or whatever and do it. Don't worry about overspray. I have a nice containment system. Um, uh, that's it. I'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. I can come to you to take care of it. Um, or you can bring it to me. It doesn't matter. Uh, I also can do boat decks jet ski uh hulls um anything and no it doesn't add a bunch of weight and no it doesn't take away from your aerodynamics enough for you to even notice it on paper maybe in a lab absolutely in real life it ain't going to be no different literally you could put it on a car or you could put it on the bottom of a boat doesn't matter it's not going to create excess drag it also is not going to add a bunch of weight like people think i mean i use th uh three 24 ounce bottles on my truck bed uh and if i had to guess we're looking at what 12 extra pounds maybe for the whole thing if you do the the bottom half of a ski hull uh you're looking at maybe eight nine pounds if that i mean even less probably my my point is all of the popular misconceptions that are out there, uh, one being that uh, 2K urethane isn't as strong as Linex, well, uh, they are two very different products, but I can tell you that in my experience, Raptor is incredibly durable. With the proper prep, the product can really do what it needs to do, uh, and that is protect your bed or protect anything you put it on. Uh, I've shot two boat decks so far. They love this stuff. I can... I can give you the color that you want. I can give you the texture that you want. We could even make it smooth. It ain't even a big deal. I can make it a smooth texture. If if um, you're worried about the extra drag or the lack of aerodynamics uh, with all of the texture, uh, we can make it flat. It doesn't matter. I can do whatever it is you need to do. So flat, textured, light texture, heavy texture, whatever. Any color you can imagine we can tint. Um, I am developing my own system, uh, but currently I feel like Raptor Liner is the best. I am an authorized U-Pole um, installer, uh, and that is the parent com company to Raptor Liner. Um, I've invested lots of money with that company, and uh, they their support is decent, um, and I just love the product is really where we're at. I prefer Raptor Liner over the rest. Um, Different things have their place for sure, but I can tell you that the other cool thing about the Raptor is it it is uh, far more UV stable than the standard Linex or any of the other coatings. I know Linex wants to offer you a premium top coat for another $400 in most cases. I mean, after you pay six, so I got a quote for my bed for 630 bucks, and then I decided, no, I'm not doing that. I used to get I used to get a Linex bed liner done in a full size long bed for $4.95. I'm not paying $630 bucks for that. Um, to have to go there, drop my truck off all day long, and then 
potentially they've gotten overspray all over the place, which I have had happen. They also stick that stupid plaque in the back of it and put a sticker on your window. I don't, I'm not doing that. I want a quality bed liner that will last. Um, and I have, I have ex like all kinds of experience with Raptor liner. I've lined many, many, many things. Um, and the lining situation is endless. I could line anything from, we do full car sprays in any color you want. Um, you could even match your uh, factory color so you won't have to do the door jams, which saves a bunch of money. Uh, but I could do a full car spray, a full boat spray in and out. I could do skis, um, parts, uh, bed liners. Anything you want, just let me know. If you would like to hire me to do a bed liner for you, 813-846-4406. If you got questions for me, leave a comment below. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. Check out detailjuice.com for all your detailing product needs. And use my cell phone number if you got any questions. The only thing, only way that I can help you is if you reach out. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did doing it. Thanks guys, have a great day.